Okay, so let's solve this topic. So finding the present value and future value of ordinary annuity. So we have this problem. So quarterly payments of 5,000 pesos for 7 years with interest rate of 8% compounded quarterly. Since on this problem, the periodic payment is quarterly and the compounding period is also quarterly. So therefore, this problem is an example of ordinary annuity. So first, we need to list all the given. So we have this, the regular payment, that's 5,000 pesos. Then for the rate, that's 8%. So in decimal, that's 0 0.08. Then the time, so we have this 7 years. So the time is 7. For the compounding period, since compounded quarterly, so therefore, 4 times in a year, so M is equal to 4. Then for the number of periods, so using this formula, M times the time, so M is 4 and time is 7, so therefore, the number of periods, that's 28. Then first, we need to solve for the interest per period using this formula, that's the rate, divided by the compounding period. So the rate is 0 0.08, that's 8%, and the compounding period, that's M, that's 4. Then this 0 0.08 divided by 4, so we have 0 0.08 divided by 4, so therefore, the interest per period is 0 0.02. So this time, we can solve now the present value with this formula. So substitute now all the values. So we have this R, the regular payment, that's 5,000. Then times 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus the interest per period, that's J. 0 0.02 then to the power negative n so n is 28 so that's negative 28 then over j that's 0 0.02 so to solve now for the present value so since this 1 plus 0 0.02 is equal to 1.02 so we have 1 then minus this 1.02 then to the power, negative 28. Then equals, then divide by this 0 0.02. So divide by 0 0.02. Then equals, then times the regular payment. So times 5,000. So therefore, that's 106,406. So the present value now is 106,406.36. Then to find for the future value using this formula, so substitute now all the values. So for the regular payment, that's 5,000, then times the quantity of 1 plus the periodic interest, the J, 0 0.02, then to the power N, so n is 28, then minus 1, then over j, that's 0 0.02. So to solve now for this future value, since 1 plus 0 0.02 is equal to 1.02, so we have 1.02, then to the power, positive 28, then equals, then minus 1, equals then divide by this point zero 0.02 equals then times the regular payment so times 5,000 equals so that's 185,256.05 so the future value now is 185,256.05 so this is how to compute the present value and the future value of an ordinary annuity.